or just roll. Oh, cake. Cakewalk. <laughs> it's always a cakewalk when you're going downhill. Right? <laughs> Lou's car does exist in real form. It's my first time behind the wheel. I've only seen this car in person one time. It was at a National Acura Legend meet in Atlanta. When was that? Two years ago? Three years ago? Uh, yeah. Two and, years ago. And uh, we're just coming up now in two weeks on our 14th Legend meet. And I don't think this one's coming to Colorado, is it? No. <laughs> I'm sure it would make the drive, right? I would make the drive. I just don't want to drive that far. Yeah. So did this start out as a bone stock 91 or 92 car? Uh, bone stock 92 L, L model, automatic 3.2 type one. Uh -huh. And then the rest is history. There's probably not a single component on this car that's its original 26 year old part, right? <laughs> yeah, the only part that's original, you might go right, okay. is the um, uh, ABS master, ABS thing. We weren't kidding about that clutch. <laughs> oh, baby. All right. That is either on or off. <laughs> there is no middle ground with that thing. Hey, I didn't install it, though. <laughs> no, you didn't install it. You hit the two-step, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm probably grandma driving this more than it's ever been grandma driven, but I'm in a residential neighborhood in a city that I'm not from, so I'm not going to take a souvenir ticket home. No, nah, you, you won't. I'll tell you where to go. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for this? You said ultimately the uh, drivetrain is going to pull, get out into a the green coupe, right? The uh, purple coupe. Purple? Yeah. Go left, left here. here. All right. I'm going to try this clutch again. I'm getting a little better. You're right, though. It's really the top of the pedal where it gets all the bite. Yeah. So do you guys have any kind of smog or emissions complaints up here? Uh, no, like, I live in this county for that reason. So we so don't have any emissions at all. Issues with that. Yeah, all I have to have is something that looks like a cat. Yeah. All right, you, you can pause on that one. We'll wait till we get out on some road here. Yeah, uh, just so you know, whenever you do shift, you want to like keep it up higher so it kind of... Okay. Because it's it drops down real fast. It's got a five pound flywheel on it. Gotcha. Gonna wake up some neighbors here. Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about anything up here. It's even though it's uppity, like they got they all got Lambos and shit, yeah. so nobody cares. <laughs> There's something uh, lurking, I can just tell. Oh yeah, it's just the happy sounds. Yeah. Did this get daily for a while, or was it always kind of just a project? Um, it was daily for yeah. from 2005 to like 2009 or 10 when yeah. I tore it apart. Dang, you've had it for 13 years. Yeah, 13 years. And I've only put 21,000 or yeah, 21,000 yeah. so miles on it. So it's the 147 it. 200 uh, true to the chassis. Um, essentially. Ish. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty accurate. Um, after 10 years old, you know, you can change the mileage a little bit, so that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Love this little community. Yeah, you want to go right here. When I went to Mars yesterday, I took that scenic little back road. It's a two-laner. <laughs> that was some second gear. <laughs> oh, that's spin. great. Oh, it'll blow them off through fourth, so you're good. Oh, shit. Yeah, somehow last night, we don't know why, it's still boosting 19 pounds boost. Yeah. So, yeah, you got like a good bit of yeah. power. 
So um, have you actually ever pulled on like dyno wise? What does this guy do? The old dyno that the guy did wasn't ever actually accurate or right. Yeah. Should I take it right? Uh, go straight. Okay. We'll just go hit the highway real quick. Oh, you really got to drain that sucker in. Yeah. I guess. Oh yeah. You could definitely just like boop, pop it out yeah. if you want. You don't yeah. have to. Okay. Yeah, the, the first dyno this guy did didn't have any coolant temperature sensor, didn't have any, uh, that's all right, idle air control sensor, Yeah. or whatever, I, air, air temp. So all he basically did was turn the boost up and maybe make adjustments. Yeah. Um, so did 19 or 21 pounds, I can't remember, and did 577 horsepower, 500 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. Now with the new tuner, I switched the intake manifold, got the sensors fixed, and did a smaller turbo. Um, less boost, it's making somewhere around 450, almost 600 foot pounds. So it's it's got to go. Like whatever it calculates to, I mean, we're still tuning it because I'm getting a break up around five grand. Yeah. But other than that, it's you know, it is what it is. It's a fun motherfucker, like flat out. <laughs> You'll oh, see. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a pain to manipulate and drive around in small areas, but other than that, open roads are good. Yeah. And it, where did you get the six-speed motor uh, transmission out of? Um, I don't remember if you've seen that. It was a white Skyline coupe that I bought. Um, uh, it was. Remember. It was a local guy. Did completely custom work. Yeah. Um, but he parted the car out, and I got the six-speed out of that. Nice. And that was in like '07. I bought the six-speed setup, even though I didn't have any plans for the car. Other than oh, I'm just buying this. Yeah. I bought the whole swap for like a thousand bucks. I was like, oh, that's Not awesome bad. price. Back then, like you know, six speeds were expensive. Yeah, I was just telling Drew, uh, we usually have pretty good components out in Arizona just because... Hey, you guys don't have the rot... Everything's rust-free, but anything related to weather stripping, dashboards, uh, uh, leather seats, it's absolutely trash because the sun just totally beats it. But uh, if you're ever looking for a, like a shell or anything, uh, let me know because they're well, all over the place. Well, that's why I bought um, uh, Arthur's Coop because it's, it's basically rust free. I need to find some doors for yeah. it. There's just a little bit of rot. Oh, you're right. on the left. Left here. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's rust free. It's got the Kamari or Kaminari, whatever kit oh, on it. Yeah. Right. So I'm happy with it. That car, I remember some pictures from back in the day when it was on a beach somewhere. And yep. I don't know <laughs> if it was stuck in it or what, but I remember the front tire was buried all the way up about halfway. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's actually one of my favorite pictures I have. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks yeah. like crap right now, but yeah. So did he have a free and clear title because you found it at the salvage or the... It's a... Uh, let's just leave like, it at it's questionable right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> so I'm just actually impressed you're driving it pretty well. I mean... Um, Mr. <laughs> Mileage King can actually I mean, have some fun uh, with something. Let me, let me put half a million on it, then we'll see how it does. <laughs> it would last so, a half a million, yeah, but... Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping mine makes a trip. Uh, it's about 900 miles from Phoenix to Denver, and then we're going to drive up a 14,000-foot mountain, so I'm uh, going to be crossing my fingers and biting my lips the whole way. Why are you worried? Just, I mean, it's it, been burning oil more and more lately, and the, um, you know, the clutch is still original. A few other things like that. That um, just the other day, I discovered that all Alan and Chris and those guys, they use. There's certain things that every legend owner should keep in their back pocket for emergencies, like a main relay. And one yeah, of like them, Kevin keeps that stupid little stopper. That's thing. That's exactly what it was. So I ordered two of those because now they got me paranoid about that. And. Uh, I have a full-size GS spare and a couple other things like that. So it's just like, how many more, how many more uh, emergency things do I need in my kit before I feel comfortable doing a cross-country drive in that thing again? Huh. You see my emergency kit for this? It was packed full of the trunk just to yeah. go to Atlanta, and I needed nothing, like I, nothing at all. But I mean, I, I'm happy that way. Shit. Just when I thought I was getting the hang of it. <laughs> It likes to play with people. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got this. I'm just 
happy somebody's driving it and I can actually make a good video of it making a pull. Like, <laughs> that's what everybody always asks. You like, I want to pull. You a GoPro set up or something in here. I have one, but I never remember it when I want it. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, eh. Yeah, you should have said something. I put it in the front line. I got a whole, I got a whole new camera set up and everything. Oh. So who, uh, whose place do you store this at? Uh, uh, my buddy Tom's, he's got a shop okay. up in Youngstown. So yeah. I just, we all store cars there basically. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to head towards Pittsburgh, we'll oh, just yeah. go up one exit and All spin right. it around. Sorry, man. You're... <laughs> Dude, the tires are like... I'm not used to this profile life. <laughs> the, uh, the tires, minus this one because I blew it out at Tri-State, are yeah. like 10 years old. The wheels are 12 years old. I'm not too worried. Holy shit. You are kidding. It'll spin the tires in four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fun car. Holy shit. Wow. I get myself in trouble with this thing. Nice price. It's right. blue price, but it's good right. price. <laughs> Should I hop off in Wexford? Uh, yeah, but you got a little bit. All right. Wow. There is there is something wrong with this car. It's way too bad for me. <laughs> oh. I got that dude from the smoking tire wants to do a video oh, on Matt it. Farrah, yeah. yeah. Matt's a good guy. He uh, he let me drive his Lexus LS for a few days. The connections you know of people are like always interesting. Yeah, I mean it's just the the car community is pretty small as it is, and then uh, I probably have another gear right somewhere. Yeah, it's it's six speed. There it is. Yeah, Matt's. I actually, you probably saw this, but I sent uh, Doug DeMuro a little video. Yeah. Coop, but I never heard back from him. He used to live here, right? Oh, I have no so idea. He said he was in this area, and then he's in Southern California now, so. I thought he was in Jersey, by the way. A lot of his videos that I've watched, they're always in, like, Jersey. Yeah. This is the exit you want. All right. NSX wheel, right? Yep. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> Should have seen me driving at home last night. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm low on gas, but fuck it. Yeah. Do we just want to hop back? Uh, yeah, you'll just way? literally. Okay. So be Yui. Yeah. Eh. Got a little bit of congestion. At least it's all downhill. It's not too bad. If that's the case, I'm fixing this dash because I hate when this dash mat's on. Yeah. Here. 